Hey guys, uh, welcome to my Stardew Valley Let's Play. Um, I am, I will say, an intermediate to expert um, Stardew Valley uh, player. I have played Stardew Valley quite a bit, and I'm actually very excited to get started on a new farm with you guys. Um, I'm just here kind of building my profile. Um, of course, I had to go with the middle part hair just so I can annoy my wife just a little bit through, through these Let's Play because uh, I know she'll be watching and um, this is for her. <laughs> um, if you guys have not played Stardew Valley before, this is the nice intro screen. Um, it's become so much bigger and more customizable as the years have gone by. Um, you can see on the right hand side there, uh, we have all the types of forms that um, is available to players out there and but for this let's play we're gonna keep it with a standard uh, farm just so we can kind of build it the way we want to build it and of course um, have the room I did skip the intro um, if you guys want to see go see the intro you can probably find it on another quick YouTube video but uh, I'm skipping it I've seen it too many times this this little bird right here yeah. Bye, guy. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah. Oh, it was a great intro. <clears throat> Oof. I'm going to get Robin, uh, which is going to be the carpenter of Pelican, uh, uh, Pelican Town. And she's going to help us out with a few other things. Uh, obviously, she's not going to help us with the yard work. That's all for us to do. Right? Um, Probably the only yard work I enjoy doing consistently, I'll say, is uh, cleaning up my farm in Stardew Valley. Um, and then, you know, we get introduced to the mayor. Um, what was he doing in the house? I've never really thought about it, but like, he was just in my house, right? Like, what was it? Well, maybe they're, I guess, they're trusted friends, but I guess that makes sense. I'll stop questioning it. I'll stop questioning it. I, I don't, I don't want to assume things of Mayor Lewis. There's already things about him that's kind of shady, maybe. Um, but that was kind of rude for Robin. She was... I get it. She wants to make her money. She wants to make her coin. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't tripping, right? Don't worry. Don't worry, Robin. You and I will do a lot of business. <laughs> a lot of business, so don't worry. Pretty soon you can build your own and upgrade your own house because of the things that I'm gonna give your way. <laughs> so, if this is your first time or your first exposure with Sardew Valley, um, I'm gonna kind of do a normal run of uh, things that with my pretty, well, with my extensive knowledge of prior stardew stuff um hopefully i can be kind of a sort of a guide at the same time um while i'm playing these let's play so that way I th other than entertainment it is also it is also educational and that's what we want to do right uh first day oof, a lot to do so uh, i'm gonna fast forward through quite a bit of the stuff because uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys don't want me to uh, just watch me chop, uh, break stuff on the ground on some time. But the first thing I really typically do is make a path down south um, into the forest here. And the reason why I do that is because um, I'll start foraging. The way I start foraging is up the top and then it goes around the town. Um, and if I forget to create that path for me, uh, I get blocked at the end of the night. And then I have to go completely around and sometimes I die. Well, well you don't die here. You, I, I get exhausted and pass out. And then I owe money to Harvey and you know what? Uh, he's a doctor. He doesn't need more money, I guess. So, uh, yeah, just kind of skipping around now. Um, I guess I lied to you guys because... Now that I'm recording this, 
I see that I actually went south first. Mm. I'm sorry. I, uh, I gaslit everyone here. Uh, very sorry about that. Uh, I'll try not to do that. But um, if you're new, this is an awesome thing. Uh, some people may not know. Um, but you get these spring onions in spring. Uh, they're only at this uh, bottom left corner of the map. Um, located uh, in this in the mountain region, not the mountain region, the forest, um, right below Leah's house. So it's always a good foraging. Um, it's good, good energy, I guess. Oh my gosh, here she is, guys. Okay, I, I needed to uh, savor that a little bit. I mean, uh, watch it for a little bit longer. Uh, <laughs> Uh, if you guys don't know, you guys can date uh, villagers here, or townspeople, I'll say they're not villagers, they're in a town, so they're townspeople. Uh, you can also date multiple of them, uh, and I have done that scenario, That will, this will not be that scenario, I'll say. Well, uh, we have our hopes for, maybe you already have a guess, but... Hopefully, cross my fingers. Uh, basic foraging, uh, probably one of the only few things you can do day one. Um, as you guys can see, I have not planted my parsnips just yet. Um, and the reason for that is because I'm trying to do some foraging and I'm actually gonna sell it to Pierre uh, after I talk to him, because I have to introduce myself, obviously. And I'm gonna sell as much as I can, so that way I can buy a bunch of potato seeds. And you're like, well, wait a minute, well, you already have 15 parsnips, why do you need more potato seeds? Uh, well, the goal is to get about 10k gold, or money, um, by the 13th of uh, spring. Because on the 13th of spring, uh, there is a celebration, and that is the only time you can buy strawberry seeds, which is the most profitable uh, crop in spring so it's very important that we can get as many as we can without uh, really hurting our productivity right because honestly we can get 20k 30k worth of strawberry seeds but we won't have the energy to hold them all water them all in one day so uh, 10k is pretty manageable um, if I'm remembering it right 10k can can get me close to about a hundred maybe I, I should have looked this up but um it's i'll be able to buy enough strawberry seeds and be comfortable with the energy that i'll have left after i water them right so um just trying to maximize my profits a little bit uh always trying to get a good start so that way i don't have to uh focus on money and getting all the upgrades that i need um but yeah so here i am i'm gonna start building here on my farm but i'm realizing that uh i need to unload stuff but i'm gonna push through a little bit here <laughs> um it's obvious that i haven't played stardew quite a bit uh, because i'm a little rusty in terms of <laughs> how i should be moving i'm not moving like I usually do, but I'll pick it up. I'll get back into it. Um, oh, I was threw, threw that away, but you can't really throw that away. <laughs> um, so, you can see it's kind of towards the end of the night, and that's when I like to do my farming, just to get it all set up. Um, it's easier for me to determine how much like energy I'll have left at the end of the day than in the beginning, so that way I can just better ration it because i know that i have to do this so it's already planned right so my mentality is i'll just do it at night um so that way i can take care of everything in the town where there's limited here it's not really limited right i can go until 1 50 a.m until it forces me out so and i don't have that availability with some of the townspeople or some of the things that i want to find out there so that's why i do it um I did keep some forageables to make sure I finish um, watering. Oh my god. I should have a mist counter. 
is just horrible. That was, uh, guys, that was, that was embarrassing. But, uh, it's not showing here, but I do have the, <laughs> the tool hit. All right, and that is day one. Uh, I appreciate you guys being here, hanging out with me. Uh, if you do like this content, uh, of course, leave a like, leave a comment. Um, if you want to see more, uh, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.